Halo 4, Annoying But Beautiful. Halo 4 is a six hour long first person shooter and is the first standalone game from 343 Studios. And sadly, after the great direction Halo 3 was taking for the series, Halo 4 improves the series and takes some major steps back at the same time. Visually, Halo 4 is the most modern looking and beautiful Halo game I've played so far. I love the feeling of level variety here not something you really get in Halo games. All the way up until Reach, every level kind of looked and felt the same, with no standouts. Here, it felt like an actual world was created rather than generic space stations over and over and over, at least for the most part, because the copy paste that the Halo series suffers from is here as well, made worse by the fact that Halo 4 is too easy to get lost in. You'll be in a new area and have no idea, thinking you want in circles because again, so many assets and layouts are just copy and pasted in new areas. And the progression indicators are just awful here. I get the point is to make the game not feel linear, but instead I just felt like a chicken running around with my head cut off, trying to trigger a door opening to move on. Halo 4 does attempt to add something new to the series with the robot-like enemies and new weapons, but they're just annoyingly frustrating. I've personally appreciated that in every Halo game up to this point you could just run through, especially trying to get through the entire series before Infinite comes out. But here in Halo 4, there are tons of moments you're forced to clear the room, and the game really doesn't do much to indicate this is necessary, which is something that could have been done considering once again, Halo games don't typically make you clear room to be able to move on, which brings me to the annoying enemies. These robot enemies are infuriating to deal with. Halo 4 has an awful checkpoint system, and in between these awful checkpoints are these enemies that spit bullets at you, or large powerhouses followed by drones that not only shield enemies, but they heal them, they can also shoot, and they fold when you shoot at them. And when you finally do hit them, they seem to just absorb all your bullets, making the final stretch of this game more infuriating than all the worst parts of the Halo series combined. Halo 4 is a good game. It's a challenging game. It strays away from Halo too much in the end, which could be a good thing, but isn't a good thing here. I'm hoping for more positive change with Halo 5 and less frustration. I give Halo 4 a 7 out of 10. If you played Halo 4, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at Gaming. Thanks for watching. Of course, stay beautiful. Chief, there. You thought that video was good? Ha! Huh? You should probably watch this video, the very video that's on your screen right now that YouTube hand selected for you out of all my thousands of videos. This is the one that it wants you to watch next. And make sure you're subscribed because I'm not a genie or anything, but I'm pretty sure you get 42 years of bad luck if you made it this far into my video and you're not subscribed. You don't have to subscribe, but I'm just looking out for you. I'm just looking out for your luck and your life.